Oh, 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 Whew. it's only you guys. Whew. Oh, me? No, nothing, man. We're just, you know, we're just here. We're doing data recoveries, we're doing repairs like we normally do. We show you guys a few things, that's all. I wasn't doing anything back there. Well, <laughs> so anyways, um, I was actually looking at this uh, iMac because the, the customer is here for a data recovery, right? And you guys are here to watch a data recovery for the video. So they brought us one of these and we need to recover the data from this. So first, let's go ahead and see. This is an older iMac, as you can see. It's uh, one that has one of those glued frames here and it's actually glued to it. So we need to remove it if, if we have to access the drive or anything else there. But let's go ahead and see what the problem is. Just plug it in. I think it does turn on, but it keeps just getting stuck at the Apple logo and there's always like a problem with it and it's just not able to do it. So we get the nice, the nice chime. Um, these models, they don't really make the 27 inch as at least making this video anymore. They stopped making the silver bezel one on uh, 2020, I think. Um, so this is what happens. It kind of goes, goes here and I think it just goes to like a black screen or something. So let's see, I think it's gonna try to load. It's very, very slow and yeah it won't do that so a lot of these type of drives they have um, one of two uh, different types of setups for them you might have ordered one if you got one of these from before you might have heard something that's called like a fusion drive or you might just get one that does have um, a normal like one terabyte drive or you may have got even an ssd depending on when you got your your imac um, this one does not have a Fusion Drive. Now, a Fusion Drive will be a completely different video. Definitely stay tuned and subscribe for when we do a Fusion uh, data recovery for that. This one, I don't believe, has that because you can check that usually before. A Fusion one basically has, it's not a typical hard drive. It is, uh, it has a typical mechanical hard drive. A 27 inch has a three and a half inch drive. And then it also has one of those Apple SSDs that are in there. Uh, they're usually like made by Samsung and they're basically connected together, right? So you have to have both of them to get the data off because they work at a very similar way how an Optane works uh, for that. We'll save that for another video because you're not here for that. You're here for a, a data recovery on this one. So I think it just goes to a black screen. I'm not gonna go ahead and, and keep waiting because I don't wanna make the drive a little bit worse. Um, so now we have a problem with the drive itself. It's very, very slow and it's very, it's giving the, the customer a problem. It just will do that. So they wanna do two things. They wanna actually do an SSD upgrade on something maybe like this what we're actually going with is a two terabyte ssd and that's going to be do a really good job and we need a bracket because it's 27 inch it's going to be compatible with three and a half inch so we're just going to go ahead and remove it that's not really the point of the video is to remove it but we'll go ahead and remove it take it out and then we'll show you guys the drive that's inside okay so something happened to one of my intros and stuff so you guys might see a few different erics throughout this whole entire thing but still all the same it's just a regular a one terabyte drive so we pull it out that's what we get there and now you're like, well, why don't you just work with it inside there, right? Well, because there's a problem with the drive. That's the whole point of it, right? So using the external, that's always a good thing to see, to see how the drive's reacting and everything, but it was running very, very slow. And now we're here. So what we're gonna do is I have um, an M2 Mac here. I'm gonna plug this in my sled and I actually have an M2 Mac that you guys may be interested in seeing. Ooh, yeah, it's midnight color. So it's actually pretty nice. I got my USB-C. Let's see if I plug it in. Let's just see the symptoms of it and see if it even pops up in the first place. So I'm gonna plug in my light there. You'll probably hear the drive. It's cranking, it's working. It's making noises, which is not good. You guys can hear that. You hear that? That's not good. So. What we need to do is we need to shut this off and we need to work on this with our data recovery tools. Nothing even popped up on my, on my M2 Mac. So let's go ahead, plug in the tools. Most likely there's some type of physical problem with the drive, but we always wanted to see really what's going on with that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we plug in our advanced data recovery tools. Well, we could see the drive and we can also see that there is head zero and head one. But when we check the surface and check the heads, we see that uh, head one actually has problem sectors, which can be caused by a damaged head. So as you guys can see, we actually have problems with uh, a physical problem with, with this drive. It did say head zero and head one have bad sectors, but um, usually when that happens is you, you can be caused by a bad head. So what we're gonna be doing is we actually have a donor here and we're going to be swapping out the heads. And it's, it's not just the same where you can just go ahead and buy like a donor type of drive off a shelf there and it looks the same, that's how it is. Usually there's lots of different um, things with the drive there that you want to to match up to make sure that it's important and it very varies because they make them usually different parts of the world and 
Um, you need part numbers, you need serial IDs, a lot of different things to actually match it up. And yeah, so we got one. And now we need to do a head replacement on them. Now when you do that, it's, it's always very dangerous because you're physically moving something. You always want to try to make it the last thing you possibly do. But a lot of these drives, especially on this, this type of Seagate, this is a very specific one. Um, that these ones actually do have that problem and they usually do need head replacement. So we need to do that and then once we do that we're going to go ahead and see if we can read the drive with our data recovery tools after the fact. So let's go ahead and work on it and go from there. So we have both these drives in our clean room and we're going to be performing the procedure. So we have the donor drive and we need to extract the head first. We also have to have head tools uh, to make sure that we don't damage the drive in that process and everything looks to be okay there so we can swap that out. And for the patient drive, what we want to do is we want to inspect so we see that there is debris on the drive using our green light. This will need to be cleaned. But first, let's go ahead and replace our patient head with our donor head. That's going to be the working one. It's very delicate work. We also need to check the filter to see if the filter is dirty. It actually looks to be pretty clean, so that's good. We're going to go ahead and clean off the surface there, and then we're going to go swap in our donor head and make sure it's, it's placed properly. It's very, very delicate work. And then everything looks to be good. We're going to make sure we clean it one more time. And we can uh, clean it all up there. We can screw it back in. And then we can go ahead and uh, see the progress. So let's go ahead and plug in our drive to our data recovery tools. And now we do the head test this time. And it looks to be good because we have head zero and a head one are actually OK. So then we can go ahead. We can actually look at the data. We can see the data here. And we're going to go ahead and image the drive. Same ways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on recovering the data from one of these uh, three and a half inch CK drives from this iMac here. If you guys enjoyed that video, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. I'll subscribe for more content. Also subscribe if you guys are interested in data recoveries. We've got tons of videos uh, doing that. We also have MacBook liquid spill repairs, board level repairs, USB um, repairs for data recoveries, uh, etc. So we've got lots of stuff. Um, so also stay tuned. Uh, we'll do a fusion drive a data recovery on this channel. That would be actually pretty fun. You guys can see how we do that. Um, I'd love to show you guys, so definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, we're also located in the Northern Virginia area, right outside our nation's capital, D.C. We do lots of um, fixes, again, for MacBooks and data recoveries, as well as hard drives. We do USBs, uh, NVMEs, SSDs, all that fun stuff. And uh, if you guys aren't local, uh, if you're out of state, we do have a mail-in option for you guys as well. You guys can mail in your device. We have all the contact information linked in the description below. And thanks as always, guys. You guys have always been great. Subscribe for support. It really does help us a lot to share information and to have fun with you guys. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.